In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry for IF6+. So here is our Lewis structure for IF6+, and you'll note that the iodine, the central iodine here, it has one, two, three, four, five, six bonds. So each bond is a pair of electrons. So it has more than eight valence electrons, but that's okay because iodine can have an expanded octet. So this is our Lewis structure here, and we want to figure out what type of shape or molecular geometry we'll have. These fluorine atoms, they're going to push away from each other, so they spread out to be as far away from each other as they can be. That'll give us our geometry. Let's take a look at how that happens. So think of this as our central iodine atom, and then we have those six fluorine atoms. Let's add them. There's one, two. You can see they've spread out to be as far away from each other as they can. Three, four, five, six. So as we look at this, we can see that we have bond angles. Those are 90 degrees. Any of the bond angles you look at will be 90 degrees. The molecular geometry, we call that octahedral. If you wanted to know the electron geometry, that would also be octahedral because we don't have any lone pairs here on this central iodine atom. So the molecular geometry for IF6+, plus, it's octahedral, bond angles of 90 degrees. Back to our Lewis structure, we can see that those six fluorine atoms, when they spread out, that gives us the octahedral molecular geometry for IF6+. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.